I'm Chef Alex. This is Dishing Up Durham, episode 13. So excited. You know the drill. Every week I source an ingredient that has either been grown or produced here in Durham region. And then I spend the whole week uh, playing around with it in my kitchen. And this week I really do have like one of the cornerstones of Durham region, Tyrone Mills. So <clears throat> the two ingredients that I'll be working with or their Ezekiel flour, which is a seven grain blend, uh, something really unique as well. And then also, I can't even tell you how delicious this is, their homemade raspberry peach jam. So the mill has been in operation for 175 years, which I just find, um, you know, crazy. Uh, Bob and France have owned it for the last 42 years. They're really nice. I mean, that's the theme I find here. Once we get out into our community, meet our growers and producers, you find out how amazing everyone is. And it's it's really cool to be a part of that. So with uh, this Ezekiel flour, it is a blend of organic, hard wheat, barley, pinto bean, green lentils, millet, rye. So when it comes to bread making or doughs that require uh, rising, this can be a little bit tricky. Uh, but if you don't mind, like a denser loaf, I made a loaf earlier this week and it was really great. Very dense, lots of flavor, like packed with flavor and nutrition, which is sort of the bonus of using this flour. To keep the recipes easy uh, for you guys, I'm going to avoid using things that require a rising time. And what I'm going to do is work with uh, a, a batter for the first one and a dough for the second recipe. But up first, I will be doing an Ezekiel flour crepe, and I'm going to do that with whipped mascarpone cheese, the raspberry peach jam, some fresh basil. Let's dish it up. So making these crepes could not be easier. Uh, like I said, we're gonna do this a sweet version, but you could also use this recipe to make a manicotti. I really think with this Ezekiel flour, the flavor that it lends to dishes, uh, it would work great, you know, if you stuffed that with cheese and did like a nice tomato sauce over top. Anyhow, we take uh, one cup of our Ezekiel flour and then I just have two eggs here and I'm going to whisk that all together. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt. And then I'll slowly start incorporating uh, milk and water. At this stage, it's important that you whisk it really well uh, so that we don't have any lumps. We want a nice smooth batter. Last, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of melted butter and you will find when you work uh, with this flour, you're really going to notice the smell. It's, it's so unique. Uh, like I've never experienced flour like this before and it's been such a joy uh, working with this. So you'll see we have a nice uh, smooth batter. You may find just depending uh, on your measurements, you might have to add a little bit more liquid. So you could just add a little bit more milk just to thin it out uh, because we don't want sort of as thick as a pancake batter, a little bit looser than that. So you can see we have that really nice uh, consistency that's, you know, a little looser than a pancake batter, nice and smooth, no lumps. Another great way uh, you can do this with an immersion blender or right in an actual blender and it comes together really quickly. Now I'm gonna set that aside and then just get a small pan, you know, the size you want your crepes to be. And then I'm just gonna give it a little rub with some butter. And I'm gonna heat that sort of over medium high. And I find when it comes to crepes, just like, uh, you know, pancakes or when you're deep frying things, the first couple kind of might take a little bit of finding a rhythm. And then once you get into that rhythm, you'll be flying. So we'll add uh, some of this mixture in there, swirl it to coat our pan. Then once we see that the top is getting dry and the bottom is like golden, flip it, cook it, and then we'll just keep doing that and transferring it to a plate. Once 
Once you've uh, made all of these really awesome Ezekiel crepes, you can just put them on a plate and set them off to the side, let them cool down a little bit. And while they're cooling down, we can work on our filling. <clears throat> so in a bowl here, I just have 35% cream because Yes, just because. All right, you put 35 in anything and it's gonna be good. So 35% cream and some mascarpone cheese. And then what I wanna do is just take some of this really awesome uh, raspberry peach jam from the mill. And let's add some of that in there. And then I'm gonna blend this all together. And that is gonna be the incredible uh, stuffing along with a little bit of basil. It is time to dish it up. This, first of all, that whipped mascarpone with the raspberry peach jam. You can eat this stuff right out of the bowl. You have to try this jam, I'm telling you. So let's get yourself a plate. We have uh, some really nice fresh basil, and it may seem strange to put basil in sort of uh, what we consider a dessert, but when you think about it, Basil sort of has this licorice-y uh, flavor, and I love, I love pairing uh, basil in my desserts. So what we'll do is just take some of our crepes and then very simply sort of uh, spread a layer around my crepe. Just like that. You could also make this into a cake, actually, too, a crepe cake which would be very nice. And then let's just put a few leaves of basil. And then all I'm doing is folding the crepe in half and then into a quarter. Oh my God, that basil, that mascarpone. <clears throat> and I'll do one more. We could garnish this with maybe a little drizzle of the raspberry peach jam and a little layer of the filling and some nice fresh basil leaves, but there you have it. An Ezekiel flour crepe stuffed with whipped mascarpone with raspberry peach jam, fresh basil. Yes. I can't wait to dive into this. Uh, stay tuned later this week. I'll be showing you another really great simple recipe uh, to use the Ezekiel flour from Tyrone Mills. Keep dishing up Durham. <laughs>